Welcome to Forensic Science. Today we are called into the crime scene. It's a suspected case of date rape. Let's take a look at the evidence. Now I'm holding on to this, what you see on CSI. It's a very powerful instrument. It's also known as forensic light sources. Let's see what we can't see with our naked eyes. Do you see something here? Now let's uh, do the next step. We will swab it. So what Mei Jin is doing is that she's using a stera swab. What you see on TV, taking the bucket swabs from the mouth, from the blood, from biological fluids like this, this stera swab will contain precious DNA for us to tell who's the perpetrator. And Chen Qi, you're packing a packet of unknown substances. What is this unknown substances? It looks strange, looks like powder. Something that we can eat? No, we shouldn't eat. Should we sniff it? We should not. We should send it for testing. And we put it in this tamper-proof bag. So that chain of custody is maintained and by the time it goes to court, this piece of evidence will be admissible in court. Look at this. This is uh, something interesting. Cheers. Shall we drink it? No. <laughs> we will do a swap. And why is it a swap on this area? For obvious reasons. People will put this part like this. And when it's done like this, the transfer of your DNA onto this part of the bottle is most crucial. We will now move into the instrumental analysis. Let's go. Now we have recovered vital evidence at the crime scene. Was it drugs or just powder? Let's take a look with this instrument. And this instrument is going to tell us answers in a very rapid manner and non-destructive way. So we started off at a crime scene by looking at the vital evidence that we recovered. And the identity is confirmed to be a benzodiazepine together with acetaminophen. And the effects will be like a date rate drug. And let the evidence speak for itself. And this will be enough evidence to convict the guilty.